Yeah. <laughs> Crap. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. Well, this is like the first FTV video, but this is a informational video on a nuclear reactor, and uh, like it gets 20 EU per tick, I think, something like that. It's super easy to make, and it will supply power at the beginning of your game. So, what you want to do for this is you want to get two uranium cells, six 10k coolant cells, and four component heat vents. And you lay down your nuclear reactor. It's pretty easy to make. You just need to make that. That's probably the hardest part. It takes a lot of copper. And an advanced circuit. So you place that down. Alright. And, um, uranium cells, you need to put it in an automatic can canning machine with a uh, refined uranium empty cells, and they'll make a uranium cell. Uh, component heat vents, uh, you need to first make a heat vent. It's just iron and iron bars and refined iron. Then, you surround the heat vent with four tin and then iron bars in the corners and that makes component heat vent. You need to make four of those. So after you got all that, oh and tell them K coolant cells just surround a water bottle with tin. Alright, after you got all that stuff, you open up your nuclear reactor, put in your 10k coolant cells like this, and this will never blow up, but I would still recommend checking your uh, heat and stuff, but I found a pretty cool thing that'll you can just look at it, and it's like a TV thing. So you put your six 10k coolant cells in there, put your component heat vents in the corners, and your two uranium in there. And the ten what the 10k coolant cells do is each one cools this uranium, so it doesn't make any heat. And what these uh, and then that will take away from the 10k coolant cells thing. And what the component heat vents do is they will uh, they will heal the 10k coolant cells. So it, it's like it's you'll never really have to make anything else. And we'll just hook this up with glass fiber cables. That's all you have to do. And then I'll just put an MS MFFCU. You can use the MFE, and I think you can use a bat box if you set it up right. So, you set this lever down, click it on, and it starts making power. It's pretty fast, and yeah, I already have 3000 EU. This is more for beginning game stuff, and whole heat zero. Now, if you want to have like a panel, a TV, to see, check your temperatures and stuff. You have to make the it's called what's called a uh, an industrial information panel, and that's pretty easy. Just lime dye, ink sacks, redstone, electronic circuit, and three glass panes, and that'll make that. And then you need to make a remote sensor kit, and that's just frequency transmitter pretty easy digital thermometer and paper and what you do with that you take uh, your remote sensor kit right click your nuclear reactor and it'll give you this reactor sensor location card set down your industrial information panel put the card in there and then power it and there you go it shows you 20 per tick that's the heat the temperature and the time remaining of the uranium cells. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you need any help, just comment your questions. I will try to help you. Um comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you for watching guys. Remember to stay tuned for the next video. Bye.